Hello, this is Sadaka. Um, just a quick note on this astral projection series that I'm starting to do with language of light activations for increasing your ability to astral project, etc. See the previous video to this one. I'm doing them all in this crazy filter just so that they all look similar and to spice up my channel because it's very dull. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, the more you read about astral projection and the more you just focus on it, the more energy you give it, the more it starts to happen. And I'll reiterate, I haven't really projected since maybe about three or four years ago, full on years ago, and that was very minimal projections at best. But so many of you are inspired by astral projection and lucid dreaming, and so many of you are into it that I felt I should do something, and you also rekindled my interest in it. Uh, so, yes, I'm doing what I do best, language of light stuff, to try and further our ability to project and lucid dream and all of that. In that vein, I woke up this morning, and I go to my computer, and I'm looking for all the exciting stuff that I'm going to do today. I'm going to answer these emails, you know, I'm, I'm you know, waiting for somebody to comment <laughs> on one of my videos and be like, oh, that's special, you know, I'm going to talk to this person for like an hour because I like to give them a lot of individual attention. Uh, that's what I do. But, uh, and, and I also, I just found myself going, oh, were there any significant dreams that I had last night since I was doing all of that channeling yesterday from two beings in particular? Mab and this astral, crazy astral being who claims that there's some type of uh, energetic substance that comes into the body that allows us to uh, that allows us to project, which is not exactly Qi, which is not exactly Jing or Shen. I'm using the Taoist terms for the different types of energy that circulate through the body, but are not you know physical, physical energy, more spiritual energy. Uh, but they are physical in, in a way as well. I can't say too much about that, but um, this other type of energy that comes into the body, which is different from that, which to me felt like this like vapory, watery, really almost indescribable substance. And uh, one of the activations that I did, and I haven't posted it yet, was to open up this area, which he was calling just call it the high brow chakra. Um, sort of like between the center of the head, um, the crown chakra, and the third eye or brow chakra. Open that up, and this substance can start pouring in. You know, it was reminding me of like old, old, um, funky notions of ectoplasm and that kind of thing. Which is, you know, there's something to be said for that. Anyway, I was doing all of those, um, uh, activations yesterday and channeling these beings who were specifically gearing their energy towards helping us astral project and lucid dream and I was wondering you know okay it's only been one I didn't even listen to my own activations I just do them and doing them is different from listening to them when I listen to my own activations back it affects me as though somebody else were doing it whereas when I'm doing it I'm just doing it and I usually don't really pay attention to I don't know if it's just coming through me or if it's doing the same thing but you know listening and speaking are two totally different processes and so your mind is in a different place either way and so I didn't even listen to them back but I had done them and spent maybe like at least an hour doing these two videos of activations from these two uh, one I'll call a higher being and the other one an astral being I'm not exactly sure if astral the astral realm is technically higher than the third dimension I don't know it's in between, it's the, the middle plane. Um, and I was wondering if their energy and the activations that I channeled from them would have an effect on my dreams. And so I got to my computer this morning and I was like, nope, nothing significant to report. Then all of a sudden I just woke up and I was like, wait a second, of course I did. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> and it was pretty early, I think, in the evening after I went to bed, and I went to bed pretty late, so I guess it was early, um, like 2 in the morning, and so I was probably dreaming like around 2.30, maybe 3 o'clock, you know, which is the witching hour anyway, and I just remember being in this dark, old, run-down mansion, or let's call it like almost a castle, 
and the energy around it everywhere was very muddled and 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 dark and dense and old and dusty and it was almost as if I was watching it through a sepia filter so everything was like that <laughs> but much darker um, and almost like polluted like post-apocalyptic you know skies that kind of thing and, and I just remember walking very very upright into this outdoor atrium and it was huge there's this big, empty space, and there was all this like, muddled energy all around me. And I walked into the center of this atrium, and then my con consciousness started to come awake, and I realized, oh, yeah, I should be astral projecting right now. And as I had that thought, my awareness, I, I woke up even more, became completely aware of everything around me, and then I just went straight up into the sky. And the interesting thing about that is a lot of people fly during their dreams, I do not fly. I have almost never experienced rising straight up into the air to just continue going up and up and up and up past the um, uh, fortification of the structure, I can't think of the right word, past the, the roof of the, the house that I was in and all the columns of the atrium, this giant courtyard which was you know old and ruined and abandoned and I just went straight up into the sky and then I could see not exactly in like all directions, but somewhat similar to that. I could see all around me and I could see all the possibilities of where I could go. And then that was it. <laughs> but that kind of thing hasn't happened to me for a really long time. And so, you know, whether it's the power of suggestion, which is pretty much the only power that exists anyway, because you create your own reality. So, yes, suggest that you're going to start astral projecting, then you will. Um, or the activations and specific types of energies coming through from specific beings who are trying to assist us to blast our consciousnesses off into the astral realm, but it's either of those or both, which is probably closer to the truth, it started to work. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you. That was my little experience last night, and I'm looking forward to continuing them. Okay. <laughs>